What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today let's talk about foamers, rail fans. Do railroad people hate foamers? Do railroad people hate rail fans? I'm just going to give you my opinion on what I think about rail fans and foamers. I'll share some stories uh, with you about some other engineers that possibly didn't like foamers or rail fans. This is really a subjective... Uh, <laughs> this is really a subjective question. Right? So everybody's going to have different opinions with... What in the world? Everybody's going to have different opinions when it comes to rail fans or foamers. Uh, when it comes to me and my channel, I'll tell you this. I don't have any problems with rail fans. I don't have any problems with foamers. I know the word foamer comes off as kind of derogatory. Not here, not on my channel. Um, you know, that, that's not how I see things. I, how I see it is, is you have a hobby. Uh, I respect your hobby. I respect the, the fact that you enjoy it. You have a hobby that you enjoy. And it doesn't affect anyone around you, right? You're doing what you enjoy. It makes you happy. You do it. Um, you know, and I was always a conductor that would sling the window open and I would wave. The main question I get asked is, you know, do the, the, the engineers and other conductors that I have worked with, what do they think about rail fans and foamers? And for the most part, some of them would make comments along the lines of, whenever you'd see one, they'd say, don't they have something better else to do? I can't believe they sit out here in this heat all day and watch trains. Something along those lines. I've heard both of those. And I want you to take a step back and look at it from this way, right? Try to empathize with these guys. A lot of these engineers, one, when they hired in as a railroad, it was a great job. And they made a lot of money. They had great benefits. They had great unions. They have seen change happen so much that their morale has just gone downhill. Their attitude's really sour. They've seen a lot of changes. And they see the, the rail industry is getting you know, really greedy and they just don't care about their employees. It's really easy to fall into a really bad mindset whenever that's happened to your career, right? And other, on the flip side of that is, they can sit here and say, don't they have something better else to do? Meanwhile, they go home and they sit on the couch and they watch TV for hours and hours, right? So really, who are they to judge to say your hobby is, is not as important as theirs? But their hobby may be sitting on the couch and watching TV. Or maybe sitting in a hotel or a dorm, you know, playing with their belly button, eating Cheetos. Who knows? Who cares? Um, if if you're a rail fan or you're a farmer, um, and you enjoy doing it, do it. You're welcome to my channel. I, I invite all of you guys, anyone a part of the rail industry. I don't care if you're a conductor, an engineer, brakeman, electrician, single maintainer, MOW, rail fan, farmer. I don't care. You're welcome to here. We all get along. Um, I don't censor comments for the most part. You know, I, I want some of these old head engineers to tell the truth of how they feel. And, you know, we have engineers that tell you to run. We have conductors that tell you that run. I, I think it should be in a, in a community where a conductor looking to get into the industry or a rail fan or a farmer looking to get into the industry can go to my channel, see the comments of the good, they can see in the bad, and they can make their own informed decision. That's all it is. So, with that being said, Fomer's opinions are also valued here. So the question is, what do I think about Fomer's and rail fans? I think it's great. You have a hobby that you enjoy. It doesn't affect nobody. It doesn't hurt anyone around you. Um, you enjoy watching trains. You enjoy studying engines and horns and all this stuff. And y'all know way more than I do. And I'll, I'm learning a lot myself. So I enjoy it. Um, and I'm glad that I've gotten to meet a lot of you and talk to a lot of you. And uh, I look forward to learning more in the future. So, with that being said, I would say the majority of people, the majority of engineers I've worked with, don't have a problem with rail fans. It's just a select few who've been through a lot, right? They've been through a lot, and just don't even listen. Don't even pay attention to them. Who cares? They can sit there in the cab and say whatever they want to. You're enjoying yourself. You're having a good time. And you will focus on you. I'm done ranting now. Thanks for all the support on the live streams recently. Um, buying the hats, you know, we've got people buying hats like crazy now, and uh, we've got a shirt that says Rail Life on it. If you're interested in that, you can get one. Uh, views are going through the roof. We're about to hit 4,000 subscribers. We just hit 3,000 not too long ago, maybe a month ago. We hit 3,500 a couple of weeks ago. Things are getting nuts. Uh, 61,000 views on average. We're about to hit probably on average of 100,000 views a month. Things are getting crazy. DJ Trains wants to work together. Things are getting big. 
Thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, please drop by the chat, say hey, say what's up. I want to talk with you. If you have a question, I can answer it live. Um, I normally make posts on my YouTube channel about when I do go live. Uh, so I look forward to seeing all you guys there. Be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoy this content. Uh, and I will be back with another video here in the next couple of days. Bye.